Good morning, this is Dwayne, your headless piano teacher, with another little lesson about chords and chord progressions. I'd like to show you the 4 to 4 to 1 chord progression today, which is a very, very useful chord progression. You can use it in a wide variety of songs and settings and so on. Lots of things you can do with it. And it's really very simple, but until you understand it, it, it doesn't seem simple. But all it is is the one chord. Say you're in the key of C. The C as you know, the, uh, in the key of C, the C is the one chord. What would the four chord be? Be the four chord, would it? What would be the four of the four? In other words, what, what's four notes up from B flat uh, from F? It's B flat. So those are the three chords we're dealing with. The four chord, which is B flat. The four chord, which is F and the one chord which is C. Let me say that again. The one chord which is C, the four chord which is F, and really the flat seventh chord which is B flat. It's four, B flat is four of F, but in the key of C it's, it's a flat seventh, isn't it? So it's the flat seventh to four to one chord progression really. Now what you do <clears throat> is you play those chords inverted. In other words, that would be awkward to play it like that. So what you do is you play the 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 uh, four of the four in first inversion. That would be here. Here's B flat in uh, root position. Here's first inversion. Okay. So you play the the four of the four in first inversion, and then you play the four chord, which is F, in second inversion, and then you play the one chord in root position. As you know, there's three possible chord uh, positions of a triad. There's root position, first inversion, and second inversion. So we're using all three inversions but on three different chords. On B flat, we're using the first inversion. On F, we're using the second inversion. And on C, we're using the root position. So here we go. The four of the four to the four to the one. Okay? Try that with me. Four, four, one. Now let's slide off a note or two. Four, four, one. Four, four, one. Now let's put a, uh, let's use an ostinato on the left hand, a, 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 a solid bass, say, like C. Okay, and see how it's up. Four, four, one. Four, four, one. Okay, get that. been on the C chord so far so now we go up a fourth to the to the F chord the one chord is F if we're on if we're considering F as our root the four chord is B flat and the four of the four is E flat so we do the same thing on F as we did on C we take the E flat chord in first inversion the B flat chord in second inversion and the F chord in root position so we have this you're playing the blues or want kind of a funky sound it's good to put a seventh in it hear that I put a seventh in the one chord stop there. I did, I did the same thing to C, I mean to the F chord, as I did to, I mean to the B flat chord, as I did to C and F. So the root, the four, and then the four, four of the four, which is A flat, back to the four, and then back to one. So you can play through the blues just doing that, couldn't you? I'll do that real slowly here.
around again. That was a waltz, actually, that I got into a little uh, a little waltz in uh, the key of C, using the blues format and using the 404 format. So there's lots and lots of things you can do for it. Just one more thing you need to know about piano playing. If you like tips like this, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our free newsletter. That's playpiano.com, and you'll get a tip like this every three days or so. So thanks for being with me. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Hi, this is Dwayne again, and I'd like to tell you about a little book that I wrote a few years back. It's called Piano Chords and Chord Progressions, The Secret Backdoor to Exciting Piano Playing. And it's a terrific resource about chords. If you want to know more about chords, uh, you ought to latch onto this book. It's just barely over 10 bucks, 11 bucks, I think it is. And uh, it covers all the chords and chord progressions that uh, I talk about in my videos. It's just a great... Uh, it's, it's not a substitute for videos, of course, but uh, or DVDs, but it's a great summary, and it's so uh, inexpensive that it's well worth your while to get. Here's a table of contents. You can just look down here and see all the things it covers. It starts out with major, minor, diminished, augmented, sixth, seventh, and on to thirteenth chords and suspensions and alterations, and then gets on to chord progressions, and so on. So, it's a very, a very thorough book, and uh, it's got a lot of, a lot of illustrations. I'll just toggle through a little bit so you can and there's the back cover so it's worth your while to get so hope you take advantage of that thank you bye bye for now